slay. Ooh. Hair slay. Welcome back to my channel, you know what I'm saying, gang gang. Life without you been feeling kind of strange, well I see that you're doing very well. <laughs> you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blowed up my line, just to make sure that I'm feeling well. Welcome back to my channel, I am Keisha Jabri, and today I am going to be showing y'all this hair that I have in my head right now. I know it seems like I probably be having like the same hair like all the time, but I just been feeling the curly slash wavy look so i'm just gonna show y'all everybody who got curly and wavy hair period so right now in my head i have in this company named west kids hair and i have in their 24 inch curly wave wig i think that's what it's called and it is in the density 108 and i did plug this wig and i also installed this wig myself and i also bleached the nice. so just to keep that in mind the wig does not come like this you have to actually customize it to your head and what you like and i will i will i will have a video on this very very soon because i know a lot of people don't really know how to customize a wig or even how to like pluck or anything so i'm gonna try my hardest believe it or not my hair is not done right now i'm about to show y'all actually how i'm gonna do it this is like how i slept on my hair i had it like in a ponytail and as you guys can see it don't look bad but i kind of like the wet look not even the wet look because i'm not gonna try to get it to stay that way but i like to at least wet my hair before i start my day because i like to kind of see it gradually get bigger over the day y'all like my makeup because i like i know these lashes is like really dramatic but like aside from the lashes I think I really like my makeup. And I will say, um, I should have got this wig a little bit bigger. I got this wig in a medium. I definitely needed a large because, like, it was really hard for me to try to apply the wig on this side without, like, I don't know. It was just really hard for me to apply it on this side. So, I'm just going to take that as I needed a larger wig. So, keep that in mind. If you have a big head, don't try to go for a medium. Go for a large or if you have... Or if you even not even sure what size your head is, just try to go a size up or try to get, you know, don't choose a small because I don't even feel like my head is that big and I feel like I needed a large. So with that being said, hey big head. I haven't washed the hair yet. All I did yesterday was clean the lace and I have, I'll have a video coming on that of how I cleaned the lace, but like, as far as like, I haven't conditioned the hair, I haven't washed it, I haven't done nothing. Like, it's literally been in this state, other than me washing the lace. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It feels really good. It smells, it smells like weave. I don't really know. If you ever smell weave, then you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. I think I can stop talking and I can start actually doing this hair so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna wet this hair oh this water is so cold but i'm not even mad at it because i'm hot just like any other curly hair curly weave is to be worked on extremely wet if you want the best results because who is gonna rush through some dry curly hair Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a paddle brush and just brush through the hair. I'm sure y'all have seen me do this. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So as you guys can see, this is wet to dry. Okay, so now that the hair is all combed out and it's wet, what I'm gonna do is to keep it like tame, what I do is I take some of this, got to be in the yellow kind, it's the less stronger one. And what I do is I just mix it around in my hands and I just run it through the hair. And it gives it a pretty good hold. Not a pretty good, a really good hold actually. Just run it through. 
you don't need a lot of that because you don't want your hair to be too like i don't know if you use too much of it your hair will get crunchy you don't want that i like my hair flowy which is why i use that little amount for this whole entire section this is the difference i'm gonna wet this side down a little bit more then i'm gonna take a little bit of this got to be rub it through my hands Ugh, i hate loose hair and just run it all throughout the hair make sure that it coats everything and the wetter your hair the easier it is for this stuff to spread i have had any like tangle issues with this any like matted issues with this um haven't had much shedding it's been a super smooth ride with this wig i think this wig can probably last you a really long time knowing me i probably won't um install this wig too many times like I, this wouldn't be like something i would use all the time so i can't really like say whether it'll be long term or not but i've installed it three times and from what i see it's a really good wig and i don't see it like you know what I'm saying, ever getting to the point where you can't wear it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this top part right here because I like it to be a little swoop. And I took a little bit of it got to be in the yellow and what I'm gonna do is I'm just brushing the hair back and then like creating a swoop right here. I just feel like it gives like your hair more of a look when you do this. That's just my preference. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna be using this BB foam. It's in this bottle right here. I'm sure y'all have seen it. I've always had this foam in my house since I was a little girl, so I like, yeah. And I like to do my baby hairs with foam because gel, I feel like, ages your lace quicker. So I don't like using gel on my um, baby hairs. And then once you, and I feel like to loosen, to loosen up gel, if you lay your baby hairs with gel, you're gonna need water, and water and lace does not mix because if you're trying to, because if you if your lace is glued down, why would you want to put water on it? That's just gonna lift it up. So that's why I use foam instead because it just easily, it just easily, it doesn't, it holds your edges, but it doesn't give it like the hard, crunchy like feel. If that makes sense, and I can like maneuver my edges after I lay them. So that's why I like to use foam. Last but not least, I'm just gonna spray the top of my head and just lay everything flat with my hands and then go over it with some of this got to be spray. Yeah, this is what the hair is looking like now. This is what it looks like from the back. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how this hair reacts throughout the day. I'm about to put on some clothes and go ahead and head out. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next clip. Just got me Chick-fil-A because it's National Girlfriend Day. Oh, what you gonna do that anyway? No? National Girlfriend Day. Oh, that's the reason? Yeah. me but as you guys can see this hair is still intact um this is about as dry as it's gonna get and this is as big as it's gotten 
So I have been laying on it though. If you can't see, the hair still looks amazed balls. But I gotta look up how to take off a wig with ghost bond. I think I think you gotta use like alcohol instead of water. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but. I'm gonna show you guys the next wig so yeah this gotta come off if you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to thumbs this video up and i know what i'm doing is not safe i don't need nobody coming in the comments why are you holding your phone and driving <sighs> but yeah i'm gonna get off um subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram your girl just hit 100k yesterday night so Help me hit 200 by following me. <laughs> so yeah, follow me on Instagram. My page is pretty lit, I would say so. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. All the links will be listed below and I hope, and hopefully I can get a code for you guys. If I can get a code for you guys, it's definitely either gonna be implemented in the video or it's gonna be in my description box. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I love all of you and until next time.